Of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160 and 101.1 FM, 814 in the morning. And let's meet him. I introduced him briefly a couple of moments ago. He's Kurt Scheib. He is the new dean of the College of Fine Arts at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, that school that's just up the block from us. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Oh, it's good to have you with us here. This is our introductory session here, so we get to meet you formally for the first time. Good. I hope the first of many. And you can tell we're kind of informal around these parts. That's great. I, I prefer that. That's excellent. Um, IUP alum? Yes. Uh, Greensburg Salem grad? Right. Yeah, so you're a neighborhood boy. A few years boy. ago. We won't say how many, but one, just a few. One or two. You're a neighborhood yeah. boy. I am. I am, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and you've spent some time at Seton Hill. I did. I was there for a little over 30 years, actually. So it was a nice long run. Yeah. And you were telling me that when you came to IUP, you studied uh, music? So, yeah. So I'm a, my, a graduate, well, in the 1970s. So it goes along with the museum's theme that Kristen was talking about earlier for the Antiques. Gala. Yeah. So <laughs> that, you know. But, uh, yeah, in the 1970s, I did music ed. So I was a singer and also an organist. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Think back. Yes. Because the college is an awfully different place now than it was it's then. It's unrecognizable from what it was. But think of, um, and of a young Kurt Scheib yeah. coming onto campus for the first time and his hopes and dreams and finding himself now here 45, close to 50 years <laughs> later back at IUP. Right. Would, would that Kurt Scheib recognize this Kurt Scheib? No, in fact, uh, I'm, I'm, we have an opening uh, meeting of the College of Fine Arts, and I'm actually talking about that a little bit on Friday because he had absolutely would not ever believe that he would be back here and all this many years later mm-hmm. having the privilege of getting to work with everybody in the College of Fine Arts because I recall being very nervous at my audition, and um, I was hoping to be a piano major, and they weren't fond of my piano playing, but they made <laughs> me sing. And uh, they sent me over to the voice faculty, and I sang for them, and I got a letter saying I should be a voice major. So I thought, well, I guess they know more than I do, so I jumped right in. Who were some of those giants of the music department back then? Oh, my gosh. Well, um, you know, John Dietz, who was my voice teacher, who was really just a wonderful person, and then I Mm -hmm. studied organ with Carol Tatey, um, which was was a great privilege. She was just a wonderful person. Yeah. Um, Did a lot of work with Hugh Johnson. Cal Weber, whom I actually knew in Pittsburgh and is, is still living in Pittsburgh and doing well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but th- there's just so many of them that I've thought of often, particularly as I've come back to this position, how, yeah. um, you know, just how pleased I think they would be that I was back and how I really want to honor them by what we do now. Because it's such a wonderful legacy. After so many years at Seton Hill, mm-hmm. was it a difficult decision to say, I'm going to uproot, I'm going to go back to IUP? Well, it was, it was and it wasn't. Um, I got to do really many wonderful things at Seton Hill. I was the dean of the School in Visual and Performing Arts, and we um, moved all of the arts into downtown Greensburg. We built two new buildings and really connected Seton Hill as an institution through the arts to the city of Greensburg, which is exactly what's going on here in Indiana. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the, the idea that we could take that um, work, which I was just so engaged with and believe in so much, and come back to Indiana and participate in that same kind of thing at a place that means so much to me is really, a, you know, I couldn't say no. When yeah. the opportunity arose, I just knew I had to, di- you know, grab it. Fine arts is a really big umbrella, isn't it? It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. For folks who don't know, when you're thinking fine arts at IUP, the College of Fine Arts, right. what does that encompass? Well, we have, you know, we have um, the departments, two of which have actually rebranded themselves a little bit. And, you know, it sort of goes along with the institutional rebranding that's happening. So we have a Department of Art and Design, which you know, has all of the studio arts, but also emphasizes design, graphic design, you know, and sort of broadening the idea of what the visual arts encompasses. Mm-hmm. You have the Department of Music, which um, is in many ways similar to the Department of Music that I was in oh, as yeah. a student, but is certainly advanced in all sorts of different ways. Um, and then the, the Department of Theater, Dance, and Performance, uh, with your neighbor, Brian Jones, just down the street, um, is the chair of, and they're really doing some really wonderful things, particularly in the area of applied theater, mm-hmm. working, you know, doing um, simulations with n- in nursing care and things like that. So there's a lot of um, energy around how can we use the arts and as ways to connect to other disciplines and other areas. Yeah. So you know, we're still want to we still want to train 
performers and great visual artists and actors and dancers and singers and pianists, but we also want to sh help show students that the arts can take them in almost any direction they want to go. So I'm just really excited about that work. Is that a great change in the way that departments such as yours have operated? Uh, and, it, and how long ago did that transition start? It's an emerging change. Um, I belong to an organization called the International Council of Fine Arts Deans, and place arts programs across the country are having this exact conversation mm -hmm. about how the arts can be sort of broad in their scope. Um, it goes along, I, I think you had a conversation with Hannah Hartley at, you know, about the Spruce Art Residency sure. the other day. Those kinds of things with how the arts can actually enliven their communities and kind of be placemakers for the community. So that conversation is happening all across the country. And so for us in Indiana, one of the exciting things is we're actually a little bit ahead of where many people yeah. are in that regard. So it's really exciting. Kurt Scheib is the new dean of the College of Fine Arts at IUP. You inherited a, a pretty sophisticated outfit there, didn't you? I did, indeed. I did, indeed. Well, you, you, there's, you know, Kristen Kaler, who you just had on, who does really wonderful work with the Lively Arts. We've got the Community Music School. We do um, a, a program called Arts Path that we do um, where we do artist residencies in schools. There's the University Museum, which is a really wonderful resource. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, Kristen, I think, mentioned the gala on October 19th. So we're hoping many people will come out. So, you know, one of my um, goals as dean is to kind of even shine a brighter light on all these. You know, I'm really privileged to follow Michael Hood, who did so much wonderful work yeah. for the college. But, you know, so I want to kind of pick up where he left off and see, okay, how can we extend our reach even further? Mm -hmm. So we're really excited to welcome people to campus, hope people will come to the museum. You know, these are community resources, not just IUP resources. With the way that uh, we have dealt with the College of Fine Arts, and, mm -hmm. and Michael Hood was a frequent guest here on Indiana in the morning, and of course uh, Kristen and right. Hankner before her, and, uh -huh. and, and the whole crew from from that very large organization, which right. is the College of Fine Arts, we have an idea of how they work here at IUP. Is is it much different from the way it works at other schools and universities? No, I think I think I think. Most all schools follow some similar model. Um, you know, there's, you know, we have a college structure similar to most larger arts programs across the country. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're divided into departments. Sometimes the departments are referred to as schools rather than departments. I don't know if that's a conversation we might have down the road or not. But, um, but I think the the basic structure is the same. I think what is distinctive is some of these programs that we do outside of the traditional academic focus that are really a hallmark of the arts here at IUP. Mm -hmm. I mean, the things that I just mentioned are not every um, arts college in the country is engaged in that kind of work. And what I'm very proud of as an alum and as the new dean is so much of that work is about connecting to the community yeah. and helping the community. So, as, so we're not just in our studios and our rehearsal rooms kind of you know doing what we do but we're out, you know, in mm -hmm. the community, in the world, doing these very things. And, you know, and it's, a, it's an excellent model for students because, you know, t today students have to help, they have to realize they can make a life in the arts in all sorts of different ways. Yeah. And so that models for them, you know, different ways to think about, oh, I could, I could start an artist residency in a town like Indiana, mm -hmm. or I could open my own music school. I could do all sorts of things. So it, you know, it really broadens their idea of what this education will do for them. I would guess as well that since you uh, do have such a long history within the field mm -hmm. and uh, a affiliation with so many different organizations and other universities, that there's a sort of a, a modeling thing that goes on. You see something happen at another school, you say, that would really work at IUP, just as others look at IUP and say, you know, that would be a great fit here. That's exactly right. And that's one of the wonderful things about this organization called the International Council of Fine Arts Deans is we really get together and we have those very conversations about out. You know, so if you were looking to start something, you can find a colleague who's already doing that, who's very willing to share their mm -hmm. experience with that. Um, and people will come in and talk to us about, you know, maybe, maybe you should, have you thought of trying this or have you thought of trying that? The last meeting was in um, Seattle and 
leaders from Microsoft and Amazon and Google came to talk to us as a group because what they said was they really wanted to hire our students. They're oh, yeah. looking to hire people who are creative. So, um, you know, so it's, it's a message that we can take back to our campuses and kind of think, oh, what does that mean in terms of the student experience that we're going to create for our students so that they know that that's a pathway? And, you know, it's not that that has to be the pathway, but it's among the many mm, pathways. Sure. Yeah. So it's, it's a really exciting and it's wonderful how people network with one another in that way. Talking with Kurt Scheib, new dean of the College of Fine Arts at IUP. How many times in the, what, seven weeks that you've been yes. here have you said to someone, I'll meet you in front of Leonard Hall? Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have gotten lost on campus just a couple of times, uh, you know, because buildings that are in my memory mm -hmm. are, are no longer there. And, of, of course, none of the dorms that I lived in are still standing, which is probably, in some cases, it's probably good that they're not standing. Once you left, they said, yeah, Yes, no exactly. More. That'll, never, that it'll never be the same. So <laughs> it. but, but it's a really beautiful campus. It's really amazing what IUP has done over the last few years to really – um, prepare the campus for the next next generations yeah. of students, but yeah. but I do miss some of those you know buildings that are in my memory. Mm -hmm. I remember crawling through the wings of John Sutton Hall before they tore them down when I was still a student. Yeah, so there was some adventure in going in those old buildings. <laughs> it has been good to meet you today. We'll have Thank you back you. often. That would be great. Thanks so much, Kurt Scheib, the new dean, the College of Fine Arts at IUP. It's the voice of Indiana County WCCS AM eleven sixty and one hundred one point one FM.